Hello friends, today we are going to design this beautiful business card which is already designed by Freepik. So we are just recreating it in Photoshop. First we will open the Photoshop, then click on file, then new. As we are going to design a business card, we will select inches, width would be 3.5, height would be 2, resolution would be 300 and color mode would be CMYK color. Click on create. The first thing which we will do is to unlock the background layer by just double clicking on it. Then click OK. Then we will select the pen tool and we will make a shape like this. Then we will join the path. After joining the path, we will click on selection and click OK. And now we will create a new layer. Then we will fill color in the selection just by selecting this paint bucket tool. If you are not getting this tool, just right click on the gradient tool, the second option which you have to select. Then we will click on the canvas to fill color in the selection. Then just press Ctrl D in your Windows and Command D in your Mac just to deselect the selection or you can do just by clicking deselect option from here. Now we will right click on the layer, click on blending option. Then we will select gradient overlay. We will click on the colors. Now we are going to set two colors. Click on the first one. So here I'm going to type the hex code of the color. It is double seven three zero double eight. Click OK. And the secondary color would be AD. 2d87 we'll select ok then again ok then ok so we will duplicate the layer click ok we will select the bottom layer so we will press ctrl t or command t to transform the layer we will make it large then click OK then again we will click on blending option we'll, then we will click on gradient overlay and click on reverse click OK we will again do the same just by duplicating the layer click OK select the last layer then we will open the blending option click on gradient overlay again we will click on the reverse click OK and we will again transform the layer just by clicking Ctrl T or Command T and again make it large like this so now again we will follow the same step but for the last time right click duplicate layer OK select this layer transform this layer make it large to fill the whole canvas Right click, blending option, gradient overlay, again click on reverse. So now we have to add some drop shadows to it. Okay, so we will 
make a drop shadow on the first layer just by right clicking on it then click on blending option we will go to drop shadow as you can see we already got a beautiful shadow of the first layer and we will enhance it just by playing with the triggers so we will make opacity to 45 and distance about 15 and size I think 50 would be the best okay so now we will place our text or logo I'm choosing a dodger font for this If you don't have this font, I'm dropping a link to download that particular font in the description. We will make color to white. And I'm making font size to 14. No, it's too big. 12 is fine. And I will make it center just by selecting move tool. okay you can add slogan or website if you wish to for slogan or website I'm choosing a simple font size would be about 5 points perfect so we'll make a space between the letters 25 no 100 all right so i will center it Okay, in case if you are not getting this option in your Photoshop, you can just click on Windows and you can choose character from here. So that's it. I hope you like this video. If you really like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel and also comment that what kind of video you want to see in the coming future. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.